Hey divas, so welcome back. Um, remember um a couple of videos back I said save your scrap wire because you can use those. So here is proof. We are working with the get your head in the game. This is that video. And I named it that because we're working on decorative head pins. You really want your art to stand out. Okay, so I created a swirl head pin, which I used to buy them already made until because I didn't know how to do them and I was I was like they're cool. But when I learned I was so mad, like dude, I could have been doing this the whole time. And then we're gonna make heart head pins. What you say? We're gonna do some more too. Um these are the two that uh I wanted to show you, you know, out the gate. And that means in the beginning for those of you who don't speak slang. <laughs> so we're going to make these. And here's proof. Those are my scrap pieces of wire, right? Right. So you're going to need, and it doesn't matter what gauge, 20 works the best. You can use 22, but if you are making like really big ones, you want to use, um, you know, for the thicker ones, 16 gauge or 18 gauge. If you have those big hole beads okay so let's get started we're gonna warm our wire first and this first one is a 22 gauge 22 gauge wire you guys okay I'm warming it you got to put that energy in it come on you guys keep it positive grab your round nose pliers you want to take the uh, grab the tip okay and what you're going to do is we're gonna wait for the camera to get some some get right you're going to make a simple loop okay just like this okay make that simple loop mine is not closed and that's okay so now with the side I'm just going to because all of your wrapping is in the wrist this is your magic tool here you guys I'm going to hold it with my fingers. I'm going to grab the loop and I'm going to turn inward so that it creates a spiral. See how that's going? Yep, yep, yep. You can go as much as you want. I don't want too much because, I mean, this is the star of the show, but the bead should be the star too. So then you have it looking like this right turn it to the side and crook the neck so that it's standing up and there you have your spiral head pin okay and so in my work i use a lot of spirals um because i understand and you'll learn this in wire wrap too when i finally uh, put that together and publish um but you'll learn that the spiral represents the continuation of life. And I feel that this is perfect. I shouldn't say perfect, but this is uh, great to know because we're continuously evolving in our own lives. And so as a jewelry artist, you, are, you will continue to evolve. And that's a great reminder. Okay, so we're going to do all our head pins first, and then I'm going to tell you what other tool to grab i want to focus on this because some people be like oh oh i gotta go get this i gotta go ah, 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 ah. we're not doing that <laughs> i'm gonna cut this because i don't need it to be this long so you can make them as long or as short as you want depending on the projects that you'll make okay and i will take um i will share photos with you of some of the projects that you can make with these different head pins so let's start with the let's let's continue on and do the heart head pin so this is what you want to do you want to grab your round nose pliers and you're going to have that tail remember we learned about the tail um when we did our wire wrapped bracelet you know for the charms so you're gonna pick a spot and you're going to bend it down so that it looks like this right yeah and then 
you want to what the heck do you want to do oh yeah 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 you know what i messed up y'all no i didn't no i didn't mm -mm. Mm -mm. i'm gonna just start over hold on you guys that was you know what i got caught up in something else something else was inside my head my bad let me start here let's go with the copper lord lord y'all help me <laughs> i want to grab the end i'm gonna pick a spot and i'm gonna grab the end and i'm gonna fold it down like that okay so you can see it's almost a loop but it's not a loop and then i'm going to choose a point and i'm going to bend this up like that you see that and now i'm going to turn it around go back to the spot that i had before let's see yeah all right and fold it down so that it now you see the heart the heart shape right come back to the top and bend this up just like that okay and then you want to adjust you want to make sure that pin is straight up that's how it is okay Whew. I almost took you to a whole nother project and I'm like, girl, wait, hold on. That's not what you're doing. So you have your heart head pin. I have that little part. You can straighten that out if you want. But I like that extra detail. But you can make it touch like this. See? I would say perfect, but there's no such thing as perfection. So what you want to do, what I want to do at this point, and I know I said, well, we're going to do some more, but we are. But at this point, I want to have you get your bench block. Okay. Mine has been through it, y'all. It's been it's got a testimony. And you want to get your jewelry hammer. You want to put your loop right on the right on the have it sticking right on there on the edge like that. And just a couple taps. Okay? So what we did is we just hardened it that it'll keep its shape. Same thing with the heart. I'm going to do both sides because, you know, I just want to make sure. Okay. So that's hardened now. So it will keep its shape. So you can sit and make a bunch of head pins for whatever reason just with your scrap wire that's one of the things that you can do with your scrap wire hold on you guys hold on don't go anywhere i want to show you how to make the square um head pin as well as the triangle head pin so another scrap of wire here and we're going to start like we did with the spiral. So you want to make a small loop, okay? And then you want to go um turn it inwards. I would say one good time. So you have that, okay? Now what you want to do, so let's play four square. You want to grab the edge and you want to bend it downward so that it makes that sharp angle. Then about here, you want to do the same thing. See, the square is forming, you guys, and it's going to have that um, spiral in the middle. See, I told you I have a lot of spirals in my work. <laughs> Four square. okay just like this and we're gonna go one more time now then you're gonna take it so it looks like this right now right looks like that 
you want to take this part here somewhere in the middle and bend that up I want to straighten this some more so now you have your square um, head pin and one more so with the triangle you're going to start the same way starting that loop going to uh, turning it inward like so right like this and now you want to grab it and press up so that it has a point oh my goodness I gotta stop and readjust you guys that's what life is that's what life is let's keep it real because this is filming and then we're gonna bend it over to make that angle so you see the triangle forming we have three sides you guys and then we're bending it up again did you see that that's the completion of our triangle I want to bend this over and you see this is totally a scrap I want to bend it over so that I can crook the neck so this would have been a longer head pin now I can't do crap with this but I just wanted to show <laughs> I just wanted to show you how to make it out of the scrap that scrap was too small actually I could put a seat bead on here and wrap it so all is not lost you guys so serious so then you also want to bang this out with your hammer awesome sauce awesome sauce my nose is stuffed up so that song i just did for you is a little irritating it's okay so now there we go so we did the square we did the heart we did the spiral mm. let's do this we did the spiral we did the heart we did the square and we did the itty bitty witty triangle <laughs> but you'll leave more wire <laughs> okay so that my friends is how you get your head in the game